हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन माई लास्ट लेक्चर आई हैड डिस्कस्ड इमेज फॉर्मेशन बाई कन्वेक्स मिरर एंड हैड ऑल्सो सॉल्व क्वेश्चन गिवेन इन आवर एन सी आर टी टेक्सट ऑफ साइंस इन दिस लेक्चर वी सेल सी साइन कन्वेंसन फॉर रिफ्लेक्शन बाई एस्फेरिकल मिरर वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ साइन कन्वेंसन फाइल डीलिंग विद द रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ लाइट by spherical mirrors we shall follow a set of sign conventions called the new cartesian new cartesian sign convention first of all we try to understand it then we shall write the different points related to it if we consider cartesian plane suppose x x dash y y dash and this is origin also we have seen concave and concave convex mirrors suppose this is concave mirror and this is pole of concave mirror this is principal axis and the case of convex mirror suppose this is our convex mirror this is pole and this is principal axis so pole of a spherical mirror whether it is concave mirror or it is convex mirror the pole of a spherical mirror is considered as origin origin of coordinate system and the x x dash axis is considered as principal axis also we know that in cartesian system all distances are measured from origin similarly for spherical mirrors all distances are measured from pole as we see here the distance measured parallel to the x axis in right of the origin here it becomes positive the distance measured in left of the origin and parallel to the x axis becomes negative the distance measured perpendicular to x axis that is m of x axis it is taken positive and the distance measured below principal axis is taken negative similarly now we shall measure distances of object and image in the case of a spherical mirror from pole and distance measured in right of the pole will always be positive the distance measured in left of the pole parallel to the principal axis will be negative the distance measured above that is perpendicular and above principal axis will be positive and the distance measured perpendicular and below principal axis will be taken negative this information plays vital role during solving numerical problems now first of all we shall write or we shall see what are the assumptions or different outcomes received from this sign convention it is well given in our ncert book so see first of all first the object is always placed to the left of the mirror according to new sign convention we shall always put objects first point objects are always taken whether it is concave mirror suppose this is concave mirror this is pole or it is convex mirror in both cases this is pole object will always be taken to left of the mirror you will always see this fact that now objects are always taken to left of our spherical mirror or later on we shall see in the case of lenses also so first concept is here see the object is always placed to the left of the mirror this implies that the light from the object falls on the mirror from the left hand side so suppose this is object and light incidents on the mirror then light will always incident from left to right from left to right now 
नेक्स्ट ऑल डिस्टेंस इज पैरल टू द प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस आर मेजर फ्रॉम द पोल ऑफ द मीर आई हेड जस्ट डिस्कस्ड इट दैट ऑल डिस्टेंस इज आर मेजर फ्रॉम पोल ऑफ द स्पेरिकल मीर थर्ड All the distances measured to the right of the origin along x-axis are taken as positive, while those measured to the left of the origin along x-axis are taken as negative. We have explained all these things. See here, the distances measured right to the pole is positive, and left of the pole parallel to the principal axis is negative. Similarly, third point states that. All the distances measured to the right of the origin. Now, fourth, distance measured perpendicular to and above the principal axis along x y axis is taken positive. So, see here, the distances measured above x axis and perpendicular to x axis is positive. And last point is that distances measured below x axis. is negative so fifth point is that distances measured perpendicular to and below the principal axis along y axis are taken as negative so these five points are very important and once again i shall suggest you that pause the video and make your note effective because it will be very fruitful for our learning outcomes so these are main five points of sign convention which i have already explained it now how we shall use it we shall use it during solving numerical problems so now see mirror formula mirror formula mirror formula in mirror formula we shall use different physical quantities so first of all we should de define what are the physical quantities used in which are mirror formula these physical quantities are object distance object distance and it will be represented by small u image distance image distance and it will always be represented by b and focal length focal length it will be represented by f so what will be the object distance see here suppose this is pole and we have taken an object here so this distance will be object distance i am giving you an example suppose this is center of curvature this is focus so what we have seen we have seen that if object is beyond c then what happens we take a ray parallel to the principal axis and after reflection this ray pass through its focus pass through its focus we take another ray passing through center of curvature suppose this ray passes through center of curvature and after reflection it reaches its path thus these two rays meet here and suppose ab is object then a dash b dash is the image of this object so how will what how we shall define the image distance the distance of image from this pole this distance is image distance this is image distance and the distance between focus and pole practically we must know meaning of these physical quantities the distance between focus and pole is called focal length so according to this sign convention what we have read at present we have read that all distances are measured from pole and the distance measured right of the pole parallel to the principal axis will be positive but the distance measured left to the pole parallel to the principal axis will be negative so in this case all physical quantity u will be negative here image is also left to the pole so here b will be negative and here focus is also in left of the pole so here focal length will also be negative but if these things 
will present a right of the pole then this data will be positive so this is the right meaning of sign convention if we know this fact clearly then it will be very easy for us to solve numerical problems now we shall see different examples of positive data also so first of all see what is mirror formula mirror formula it gives us the relation between object distance image distance and focal length of a spherical mirror and it is given by 1 by v plus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f where we have already seen what is v v is image distance what is u u is object distance and f is focal length now next thing is magnification magnification what is the meaning of magnification meaning of magnification is that it gives us the ratio of object and image so suppose we have an object of size 5 cm and its image is 6 cm, 7 cm or large enough then it is a magnified image but if the size of object is 5 cm and size of image is less than 5 cm then it is diminished image so what is magnification? magnification is defined it is defined it is defined as the ratio of the ratio of height of the image to the height of the object so magnification it is represented by m magnification is equal to height of image in the shape of formula height of the image divided by height of the object so if height of the image is represented by h dash and height of the object is represented by h then we can write m is equal to h dash by h so it is the ratio of height of the image to the height of object now it is very important that magnification may be both positive and negative another relation for magnification is that m is equal to minus b by u for mirror all these formulas are related for mirrors huh? are given for mirrors so here magnification m is equal to minus b by u now there are two things according to the sign convention we have seen what is the meaning of negative and positive sign it gives us information whether object or image or focal length is placed to the left of the pole or right of the pole so if magnification there are two cases if magnification is positive then what will be the meaning positive see here as we have seen that m is equal to h dash by h so in previous classes in, in previous lectures we have seen that h dash that is height of the image if image is virtual in all different cases see here if image is virtual just see this is virtual image this is here virtual image so if image is virtual then image is formed above principal axis and if image is formed above principal axis then the height according to sign convention this height will be positive so if magnification is positive then h dash is equal to positive 
at h is also positive but h dash will be positive only for virtual images so if magnification is positive then the nature nature of image will be virtual virtual and erect it is very important fact just with the sign of magnification we can say that whether nature of image is virtual or it is real it is erect or it is inverted so if magnification is positive just by seeing only the sign of magnification you will write exactly you will know exactly what is the nature of the image if magnification is positive then nature of the image will be virtual similarly if magnification is negative if magnification is negative then what happens so m is equal to h dash by h so if h dash is negative h dash is negative then what will be the situation if h dash is negative h dash is negative and h always remains positive this is also very important fact because object in different cases see here in all six cases of concave mirror and also in two cases of convex mirror one thing is common that what see always object is ever principal axis if object is ever principal axis then height of the object will always be positive so edge will always remain positive but for real images as it is that is image always see for real images image is also always below principal axis in the case of real images image is always below principal axis and the height measured perpendicular to x axis and below it becomes negative so if height of the image is negative then our magnification will also be magnification here will be negative divided by positive this is equal to negative so for negative sign of magnification nature of image will always be real then the image will be real and if image is real then it will be inverted so image will be real and inverted now before concluding my lecture i am giving some homework to you today's homework is explain sign convention reflection by spherical mirrors with proper diagram thank you thank you very much